So you want to know how good God really is? Well, I'm going to tell you in this video that God is the greatest thing, the greatest person you've ever imagined to meet. And in this video, I'm going to show you why God is so good to you. So let's go. Welcome, I'm Dr. Steve, and here you get to spend some time with me here in my prayer room at home. This is my personal library, and I use this as my time for developing my relationship with God. And on this video, I get to show you how to have a personal relationship with God, how to have evident results in prayer as you have vital connection with Him every single day. So let's go in this video. Today we're talking about how good God really is. And I want to share from Psalm 107 and express to you how good God really is. Let's have a look at Psalm 107 verse 1. Here we go. Let everyone give all their praise and thanks to the Lord. Here's why he's better than anyone could ever imagine. Yes, he's always loving and kind, and his faithful love never ends. Did you see that? God is always loving and he's always kind. Now I want to encourage you to believe this because according to your beliefs is how things will turn out for you in your relationship with God. Our belief systems, our mindsets and our heart desires and our heart belief is what allows God to move in and through our mind, our heart, our spirit, and bring a greater manifestation of His truth in our lives. God is always kind. God is always good. And He cares so much about you. Can I pray this for you right now as we get started? Father, I thank you that you're always so kind and you're always so good to us. Your desire is to do us good all the days of our lives. Help us to believe you. Help us to receive it in our mindsets that you're always so good to us. Thank you, Jesus. Bless everybody watching this YouTube channel. Let them see how good you really are. Let them know your mercies are new every single morning. Let them understand your goodness and your kindness towards them. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So in this video, we're going to discover a little bit more about how God is so good. So we see in verse 2 and 3, it says, So go ahead. Let everyone know it. Tell the world how he broke through and delivered you from the power of darkness and has gathered us together from all over the world. He has set us free to be his very own. And I remember the day that I gave my life to Jesus. One of my best friends, Darren Radford, led me to the Lord. He was talking to me about heaven, about hell, and about all those different situations. And he told me how it was not God's plan for any human to wind up in hell. And so as he shared with me, I was starting to feel a sense of weight and maybe conviction of all my past wrongs. Yes, I did some crazy wrong things in the past. And what does it mean to do something wrong? Well, when you put yourself ahead of others, and your desires go ahead of them and you, you put people down and you all that sort of thing is wrong. God's plan is for us to love each other and do good to each other. So anyway, I had started to feel a little heavy or convicted for all the wrongs I'd done in my past towards others. And he talked to me and said, God is so good because he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to take away all of our wrongdoing. Another word for wrongdoing is sin. And he said, he'd take it all away. Just give your life to him. Ask him to forgive you. And that moment I prayed a prayer just like this. Lord Jesus, thank you that you died on the cross for me. Forgive me of all my sins. I welcome you into my heart. Take away all my sins. Help me to live a life with you. When I die, take me to heaven. <laughs> Amen. And you know what? When I prayed that prayer, I really felt the weight of all the conviction and the heaviness and the, maybe the guilt and shame for the past things I'd done, lift off of me. You see, God wants to be good to us. Let's read through that again. Psalm 107 verse 1. Here's why he's better than anyone could ever imagine. Yes, he's always loving and kind and his faithful love never ends. Did you see that God's always loving? His faithful love never ends. 
for God to show that he's faithful to us proves that he cares deeply for you and I always and forever. In actual fact, before the world was created, God set Jesus apart, his only begotten son, to pay the price for you and I on the cross. The scriptures say, yet while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And it also says in the word of God that before the foundation of the world, he was set apart to be the lamb who is slain. Oh my goodness, that God set this plan up in eternity. So that means forever past and forever future. And right now, God is so good to us. Now, this is the foundation of this video. God is so good. We'll look at that verse one more time. Here's why he's better than anyone could ever imagine. Yes, he's always loving and kind and his faithful love never ends. He's always loving and he's always kind. God is so good and he wants to be good to you. If you've been getting something out of this video so far, I welcome you to hit the like and subscribe button and the, the notification bell so you can get more of these videos in the future. So we see that God is so good and he wants to be kind to us always. He will be kind to you, good to you in many other ways. Not just salvation and forgiveness of your sins and heaven for eternity. But while you're on this planet, on this earth, Jesus taught his disciples to pray, Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. What's God's will? It's to be kind towards you, to be good towards you, and his faithful kindness to never end. And when we see this and understand this and know this, we can live in confidence, in comfort, to know that God's always going to be there for us. And when you believe it and you receive that knowledge in your heart, God is so able to work in and through your life. I remember when I was single and I was praying and believing for a wife. I said, Lord, send me a wife and make her beautiful. And if you see that picture just there of my wife, Dr. Carmen Lynn, oh my goodness, she's so attractive, so good looking. This is the picture of her off her book, Highway to the High Life. It's the first book she ever wrote. It's the one that she wrote when she did her doctorate thesis and she turned it into a book. That's my beautiful wife. I said, Lord, send me a wife and make her beautiful. There's another example. I was also praying one time and believing once my wife and I were married for her to have children. She had a medical condition that said that she can't have children. The doctors even said that. Well, I prayed and I said, Lord, I'd love to have children. For six months, I prayed for children. And eventually, my wife had a medical miracle when she had our first son, Jabek, and then our second son, Jakin. And then I got the snip. <laughs> I went for the vasectomy. And then we adopted many children. And we've had such an amazing life. God always wants to be kind and good to you. What do you believe? Do you believe that this is true? If you believe it and receive it in your heart, he can do it in and through you. Beware of teaching that says God wants to punish you and do you harm. God has set one place up in eternity for eternal punishment for the devil. And that's called hell. And we can see that it's not God's will that any would perish, but that all would come to repentance. That's God's will. It's God's will for everyone to turn around and know him, to know his goodness. Let's read this verse again. It says in verse two, so go ahead, let everyone know it. And I'm telling you it right now. God is so kind, so merciful and so loving. Let's continue. Tell the world how he broke through and delivered you from the power of darkness and has gathered us together from all over the world as he set us free to be his very own. If you read the book of Ephesians, you will see that God has chosen us to be his very own. His children, he loves us, he cares for us, he desires good for us, just like a good father. We see in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 2, Paul the Apostle saying, 
I am writing this letter to all the devoted believers who have been made holy by being one with Jesus, the Anointed One. May God Himself, the Heavenly Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, release grace over you and impart total well-being into your lives. It is clear through the Apostle Paul that God's will through his writings is for us to receive total well-being in every area of our lives, mind, will and emotions, body, soul and spirit. Every area, every part of your life, complete well-being because God is so good to us. God is a good, good father and he wants to be a good father to you. He's proven it. He sent his son Jesus. He sent his Holy Spirit. Now we see in Acts chapter 2 that he sent his Holy Spirit to the church so that that could be for us the promised foretaste of heaven on earth. But I promise you this, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and you will be filled with power and you will be my messengers to Jerusalem throughout Judea and to distant provinces, even to the remotest places of the earth. The Holy Spirit is power given to us to express all the ways God has delivered us and done good to us. The Holy Spirit gives us the power to live an abundant life. John 10.10 10 says to us, The thief does not come but to steal, kill and destroy. Jesus said, I have come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. And we can see there in those verses and every verse in the Bible, all God ever wants for the humans is for good. Proverbs chapter 8 verse 35 tells us, For the fountain of life pours into you every time that you find me. And this is the secret of growing in the delight and the favor of the Lord. Every time we find God, he's able to do good for us. So let's find him today. My question to you right now, will you allow him to be good? Will you let him? I know every day I come into my prayer room and I spend time in worship. I spend time in prayer. I spend time in the word of God. I'm opening my heart up to God's goodness and I'm allowing him to start to move and penetrate in my thinking and my heart for that day where he's able to work behind the scenes, where he's able to work in and through my life. And I've seen so many times from the day I was saved, from the day when I received a wonderful wife, from the day when we had our first children and we've seen them grow up. We planted our first church. We bought our first building. We built our first home. So many things. We got debt free. So many amazing things happened in life. So many great friends. And some of our great friends are watching right now on this YouTube channel. We love you. We care for you but not as much as God loves you and wants to be kind to you. Can I pray for you for that right now? Father, I just believe that you love us so, so much. You'll always be faithful. You'll always be kind. And you have a desire to do us good. You've shown it throughout eternity. The plan you have the humanity to do us good. Right now, we welcome you to do us good. I welcome you to do everybody good that's watching this video. Heal their bodies. Draw them into a closer relationship with you. Help them. Show them. Speak to them clearly. Holy Spirit, open their hearts to your goodness. Let your power of life and joy and abundance move in and through our homes. I pray for our jobs to be blessed, our businesses to prosper, the ministries to go forward, for every friendship to be healthy and vibrant, for you to draw our marriage into each one of us, each marriage to be blessed, every children to grow up knowing the Lord, each child having a delight in you, God, as much as you delight in us, if possible. We thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. I encourage you to go on and click on the extended version of this video and learn some more about how good God is to you. Thank you.